Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. We have another Alpha 315 Eva Catty patch, plus some very juicy new leaked information. Let us take a look. These videos are made possible thanks to my very generous patrons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for the support. And if you would like to support my channel even further from as little as $1 a month, it is all very much appreciated. All the links are in the description below. So Alpha 315.0b has just dropped for the Eva Catty. So today I will go through the patch notes. This is just a small patch, which is pretty much the same as the initial build, but a little bit more stable. It was released around midnight my time, but brought down again two hours later. I'm not sure why, but I'm sure CIG have their reasons. Most likely they are just testing the waters, seeing what the issues are and stress testing with plans to hopefully release a new patch, maybe tonight, tomorrow, or sometime later in the week. And hopefully that one will stay up a little longer. So testing focus is pretty much the same as the initial patch. It is personal inventory, healing and actor status, hospitals, Star Lifter Hercules A2, Bombs, and Orison version 2. So for feature updates and gameplay, there is a new healing and actor status update, which I'm not entirely certain what it all means. I will read it out and we will try and decipher it. It says they have added tooltip to auto medication when disabled and messaging for adding resurgera if the player will overdose. Now, I understand what auto medication is. I understand that the resurger or med pen or the drug is to help reduce your blood drug level, but I have no idea what that whole sentence means. It is just a jumble of words. If anyone has any idea, do drop that in the comments below. Also, they have added intoxicated ground vehicle drift, which is based on speed. So I assume that the faster you are traveling while intoxicated, the further you will drift. Great to see that we are getting these intoxicated effects and that just means anything from overdosing on drugs or just drunk on alcohol nice to see that they have been added to 315. now there are seven bug fixes all of them are relating to 315 specific features so i won't bother reading them out and the same goes for the known issues there are 29 known issues all of them related to 315 specifically so hopefully they will be resolved before us mere peasants will ever lay our eyes on them now there has been four client crash fixes, six server crashes fixed, performance optimizations for swapping undersuits and armor, inventory performance optimizations, and they have fixed a back-end service log spam issue. So again, not the most significant Evocati patch, but obviously it is a step closer. Now there are some other leaks. There is word of a new Argo mining variant, which could be the fan favorite variant. It is the Argo MPUV with a mining arm attached to its roof. It would be a nice addition, in my opinion, if that is the case. But with any of the leaks, they are not 100% officially confirmed. So do take that as you will. Sticking with ships, there is a strong feeling that the 315 straight to flyable ship will be the Origin 400i. And it is getting some new paints as well. So do expect that when the ship releases. Plus thoughts that the Argo raft is close. But again, nothing is confirmed here. Now, in regards to new missions, there are files for new courier mission givers being Kovalex, Ling Family Hauling, Redwind, and Unified Distribution Management. All of them hauling companies within the verse that are also getting hooked into the reputation system. It was also mentioned in the last monthly report that Narrative were working on new contract missions and expanding the organizations for the reputation app in Alpha 315, so I think it is highly likely that there will be new reputation courier missions requiring players to maybe just deliver goods for these companies, earning their way up the reputation ladder to unlock better rewards. Now, I won't speculate too much into what this may involve, as chances are it could just be very simply the missions that we have right now with better rewards. But let us hope for new, more in-depth mission types for us haulers in the verse. Uh, very happy to see that this is getting hooked up either way. The newly updated Caldera environmental suit looks to be making progress. Excited to see this one. I think it's going to be more of a fabric suit than what we have right now. And finally, we have this image of how the medical treatment facilities may look with how players treat themselves or drug themselves. What I find quite interesting is A, how long the medication remains in the system and B, the price. Great to see it has a significant cost as this will certainly encourage players to be a bit more careful trying not to get injured. I don't know what happens if we can't afford our medical treatment, whether they just say nope, uh, we will see. But I do like the look of this. So that is the latest leaks. 
Uh, as I mentioned quite recently in a previous video, what we see on the roadmap release view for 3.15 is not likely all we're going to get for that patch. So do expect to see some nice additional surprises like with any patch release these days. And if you want to follow along with all the leaks, I have provided a link below to the Star Citizen Leaks Discord channel, which is where I get all of my information from. But it is now time, guys and girls. 3.15 is rolling out. And although there is certainly a long way to go, it has begun. With that said, if you do enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. I would be very grateful. Also, come and follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash Ryan. We will certainly be talking more about the curry missions and so on. Hit the like button if you don't mind and tick that notification bell if you would like to be notified when my videos go live. Again, huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.